I try to make eye contact with the officers when I'm peeing. It ruins their day. I like to make I like to urinate on the officers. It really ruins their day. Hi gang. Rudy Land back again with a friend. Not Eminem, but Marshall Mathers instead. You see, I'm a rhyming fool myself. God, somebody kill me, please. <laughs> Today we saw a uh Pretty all over the place movie, but I liked it. I liked I liked that it was all over the place. It was a farcical, a dramatic farce. Yes, a political satire. Called the, the stakes were incredibly high. <laughs> yes. Why don't you tell us the name of that day? Uh, the death of Stalin. Um, <laughs> had an all star cast, frankly. Yeah. It had an all star cast, and um, yeah, this one's probably not going to be really around you. Uh, this yeah, what's the deal? Why release. is it limited release? I I've see, I don't see any previews. I saw a preview for at least twice for this one. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, like I said, I heard about this movie uh, listening to a podcast. I had no idea it was even coming out. And, um, man, I'm really fucking glad I went to see it. <laughs> yeah? So really, yeah, uh, run, uh, the, run the cord? Yeah, I was... Man, I was fucking loving this movie. I was. Uh, it was. It was working on every fucking level. For it's me. definitely the best film that we've seen together. I, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I. Uh, I was just absolutely in love with this movie. Unfortunately, the rest uh, of the audience wasn't. No, the yeah. Let's just talk briefly about the theater experience and then give your broad thoughts. But um, everyone in the theater had no idea what movie was playing. <laughs> I guess. Nobody was, it they, was si it was just us two it laughing. Was, we were laughing our fucking asses off. And then everyone and else was stone silent. Stone cold fucking Except silence. Except maybe I can count on my one hand probably how many times yeah, like towards, other people laughed. Towards the end of the movie there was this one guy towards the front. Who's who, finally fucking getting yeah, it. who's finally getting it. I guess they thought this was going to be like a serious like fucking historical and it was, drama. It, it was though it, too the, at the it, same time there, it, which the, was very impressive. The movie does get real at moments for sure um which is I mean, what i like i like that i was so in love with this movie unfortunately there was an asshole <laughs> in, <laughs> towards the front of the fucking theater who fucking just turns his phone on and it's like the light of the fucking sun and immediately that takes the movie down a peg what just was he be, doing on the phone though he it was like doing, he was he in could be fucking, a doctor man he was like in fucking google just like scrolling through shit who is that he who searched is his history. Yeah, and I, and I said, you know, hey man, can you get off your phone? He doesn't acknowledge me at all, so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I guess I'm going to get into... action pretty quick there. Yeah, I, I got to like, admit. Well, cuz I can't deal with it. I mm. cannot fucking deal with it. And uh I was like, oh shit, well, I guess I might get into a fight tonight. <laughs> and, uh, He's fucking, on his own, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Fucking go over to the guy, get right up all in his fucking shit. And I'm like, hey man, can you please turn off your phone? As I'm grabbing the back of his seat and shaking it. <laughs> I gotta admit, it was very intimidating. It was very intimidating. And immediately he turned off his fucking phone. <laughs> was he and an said old sorry. guy? No, he was like middle aged. I think I he saw was like him in his forties. I wasn't really. And you know, I mean he didn't give me shit about it, you know. He he took it off, which was good. But it's like 
there, there's like 25 people in the fucking theater. And we're in the back two rows. You know? There, I think 25's yeah, maybe stretching 20, it a little 20. bit. 20? 20? I would go, I would say 15? 10, oh, 15 yeah. maybe. 15 maybe, all right. It was that a was small a little, theater, guys. It was a small theater, about Uncomfortable 15. Uncomfortable chairs. But most of the people were all sitting back where we were, in those back two rows. Yeah. And this guy didn't have his fucking brightness turned down at all on his fucking phone. See, Even I took, that, I don't I give a fuck. I took my phone out a couple times. I usually do during movies if I like a song or a right. theme, a score, so I can, yeah. you know... Figure yeah. out what it is and record. Yeah, it's, and remind it's, myself. it's just like, especially with a ticket like this. And listen, we have Movie Pass, but we're saying it later at night. It's like a thirteen, you know, fourteen dollar fucking ticket. Like, put your fucking phone seriously. Away. Yeah, Yee. yeah. So it's you know, it's just not fucking cool. And uh, you could definitely get annoying. I was that, wholly unaffected by yeah, this guy's I, phone. I have to immediately address shit like that because you've already started to ruin the experience. And right at that point. I, luckily that was like three fourths of the way through the movie. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't really fully get back into it after that happened. That really kind of fucking. Ruined There's things. a couple chuckles where it's just grinding of teeth. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I I think I think it's a really good movie. Um, I was uh, I was really kind of blown away. I, I Steve Buscemi in this movie is fucking fantastic. Uh, He's so good. And uh, he's one of those characters who, for, for, for almost the entire movie, he's just like, the almost like slapstick. -y. It's like he's playing Larry David on yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm, frankly. Yeah, and he's just, he's so funny, and every time he was on screen, smile on my face. It was so good to see Steve Buscemi in a, in a movie in the theater. I uh, love him as an actor, I always have. And, yeah, he's great. And he's great on Boardwalk Empire. I haven't um, seen it. Yeah, he, um, he's just, you know, he's... My uncle told me it was slow. Very slow, yeah. It it picks up in certain seasons, but, you know, he, My uncle um, is a rube, also. <laughs> I might... Well, he won, oh, God, I, I can't even, I don't even know how many Emmys he won for Boardwalk. He was really yeah. fucking great in Boardwalk. It's already over? When did, what, it was on many, Five like, seasons it ran for. Okay. Uh, it was like HBO trying to have the success of Sopranos again, and that didn't really work, it wasn't... You know, Most too slow, ratings. probably, huh? Yeah. The third season's, like, really good. Really fucking good. Michael Shannon's fantastic on that show. He's I didn't awesome realize he was show. in it. Um, um, but, um, yeah, I, this is, like, gorgeously shot, too. Like, all of the clothing, the buildings. Yeah. It's, like, meticulous detail. And the cinematography is so fucking beautiful. Um, like, so much love was put into this movie. Who made this? I saw I've never. End, but I it was like Armando something. I I don't think I've ever seen uh, a movie he's done before. Do you think it could be a gag name? I don't know. Yeah. I'm just speculating here, folks. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick has not risen <laughs> from the grave. Not yeah, yet. that's the thing. Is like everything was like kind of like centered, almost like a Kubrick movie. And yeah, I mean there beautiful. was no like super like. If I got some really dope mountain shots, I would say it yeah. reminds me of a Kubrick film. But I mean, yeah. well, when this... everyone's talking and stuff, when it's sort of in the room shots, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I'm no Kubrick yeah. expert. I always have to say that <laughs> I'm not an expert at things, yeah. but yeah, you're not. It's you're, um, you're not doing it definitely reminds. <laughs> it definitely reminds one. Oh of, yeah, there's just you know this sort of meticulous, meticulous detail. Yeah, there's so much just love put into this and. Uh, the diet. One problem for me is I um, as soon as I learned who Steve Buscemi was, character was, the movie was not ruined, but uh, the uh, overall plot. See, see I, I could figure out what I, was going to happen pretty quickly. I had quickly. no idea about like any of uh, all the people who were on this board. You know, I don't know about Stalin. the history specifically, but and I remembered the guy's name, who the actual character's name. Yeah. Yeah. See, I had no idea. I had no idea that was See, coming. that's a problem with American... Uh, history? <laughs> history when education. Like, I have no idea about Russia. Just, like, I'm not saying I'm a Marxist or right. I want to become one. I'm just curious. Like, it's a pretty big fucking empire, man. Right. So you pissed off your history teacher for running the movie? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that would have been from a documentary. Because, like yeah. I just said, we never learned Russian history, really. So, um, yeah, cinematography, just gorgeous. I love the shots. Um, I love when it um, switches to like a quote 
after kind of like each section, there'll be like a quote from one Reminded of the papers. Reminded me of like of, a Tarantino movie yeah. or something. Well, it was like from like the pamphlet or whatever from his funeral. It would have like mm. a little. Do you think it was actually blurb. from the pamphlet? I have no idea. I'm I don't think it was. No, for comedy, yeah. Because the way they were written, they were mm. meant to be humorous. I feel like. And uh, I would say the dialogue in this movie. Oh my god, I love. Very dark, and I love the dialogue, oh, It's too. so fucking good. I was just like... I have a locked up in the gulag. <laughs> She's great at singing in well, fellatio. I, yeah, right. I, that, was a, that was a great line about the doctor. Uh, we've, we, we've killed or gotten rid of all the good doctors. Well, get a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> <He's It's>, like, <laughs> it's definitely... There's a lot of English, except for Steve Buscemi. Basically, everyone's either from Europe or... I love the fact that no one does a Russian accent in this. Movie. See, no it's one. Hollywood's finally the, catching up with my philosophy. The director fucking knows what he's doing. Except for the beautiful Olga Kirilenko. Well, she's actually Russian. I know. <laughs> she's the only fucking Russian in the movie. <laughs> and I'm happy to see her included. <laughs> yeah, and and usually I'm very, not really a big fan of her as acting. I think she's kind of. I've terrible. only seen her in the James Bond movie. I just she's really yeah. foxy. She uh, she's very fucking sexy very hot. I said um, foxy. We're allowed to disagree. <laughs> you misogynist. No. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to disagree. Um, you look good. like you're dead. <laughs> yeah, that, you loved that fucking line. That was really good. Just <laughs> I love that. Got, How old are you? How fucking old are you? The girl, I'm the old. <laughs> the problem with, another problem with this movie is my favorite characters were in it the least. Really? Oh, the my two kids Bushami. and uh, I, who else? I, I was like, um, I see, I didn't know Bushami was going to be in this as much. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, he's in this whole fucking character. thing. It kind of knocked like, me yes! aback. Like, he was, he's pretty much the star of the movie. Oh I'd yeah, say. he is. And he, well, another oh, big problem with casting good. is, could they have gotten somebody who at least looked a little bit like Stalin? He was only going to be in the movie ten minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? there, there was... They got like a five foot five guy. <laughs> I did like the guy who played Stalin. Yeah, he was he funny. was good, but... But he was, like, either wearing a rubber mask or there yeah, was some CG. Really bizarre. Yeah, which, which ties into the movie of the very over-the-topness kind yeah, of... Yeah, because nobody else probably looked anything like their <laughs> oh, Soviet counterparts. Not. I mean, especially, um... Oh, God, I can't think of his name. Uh, Jeffrey Tambor. Oh, who, yeah. He was... Oh, God, he, he was, was so good. His facial expressions oh. kept crushed it all night. Oh, his body language, yeah, it was fantastic. Yee. Every time he made... It was, I just... That's what was my thought. Oh. Like, He's such Ooh. a fucking scene stealer. And yes. you're you're in a whole movie of scene stealers. That's the thing that's so great. And um, Jason Isaacs, who plays. Oh the, my God! You th just when you think I it's was over, with, he shit. just shows up and just like, all right, oh. then fuck you. <laughs> when he first shows up and they do this slow mo of their names, <laughs> and you <laughs> just see there's like 300 fucking medals on his chest. He looks directly. <laughs> the camera like pans around like a hero shot, and he like looks at the camera and like, like there's a Michael a lip Bay thing movie. And he goes, like, <laughs> it's like, he oh, like does a man. snarl with his face. Yeah, he's so good in this. There's a lot of one-liners. So this is gonna be. Great. I feel like this is not gonna do well, no, but it'll definitely no. be a cult classic. Oh, this is for gonna sure. be a huge fucking cult classic. One-liners everywhere. I mean, that's what's so sad to me about. And this. also very, very dark. Oh yeah, the well, humor is very dark, that, and also I'm, the I'm, story. I'm glad very, you brought that dark, up, and they're not afraid to shy away. There is a scene in this movie that I laughed my ass off at and it was dead quiet. You didn't even make a fucking noise. Which scene? There's a scene where they are going down the line and straight up executing people, shooting them in the oh, fucking yes. head. I was laughing my fucking ass off because they do it in such a... Like, well, not <laughs> just, only that. You just casually was, have a conversation yeah. and shoot this guy like it's the pianist not only with that, Roman it's, Polanski. It's right after two characters have a big <laughs> argument about releasing all releasing all the prisoners, <laughs> stopping executions. So, I was like, I was like trying to hold it back because no one's laughing because for me these people getting fucking yeah. killed and then the others they're like oh wait we gotta do this and then the other prisoners are just running away <laughs> long live Stalin Stalin is dead comrade oh man oh god savior please for Molotov I I just I had a smile on my face for this whole fucking movie Ever, a lot of oh, Englishmen god. a whole lot there of Englishmen yes. who, who was the uh, production company the who put this out yeah um it was uh, Gauma they do uh, F is for family. Yeah, they, they usually do like TV. They did Hannibal. 
the Hannibal TV watching. show. Yeah, Hannibal was really there good. There was something about the, uh, the sort of, it reminded me of City Children of Men at f the first two thirds, three quarters. The, Visually, um, yeah, for sure. Visually, but also the, the, um, the way they treated the Camera. sort of oppression. The oppression. Uh, of the people. Yeah. It was either not shown, like you see a guy walk into a room with a gun. No, don't shoot. Gunshot. Silence. Yeah. You don't see it. For the most part, Or it's yes. not in focus. Then towards the end, there's a couple... There's definitely some Yeah, violence. there's a lot of executions yeah. that are right in your face. Yeah. But it was... I liked it. It was sort of like, all right, laugh at yeah. this, but also this is over here. Oh. This, um... We're killing oh, everybody. God. I'll tell you, it's... I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how this isn't going to make my I'm, I'm the best of, of the year. Like, this yeah. was... Fuck. Oh, God. I really love this. And that's what makes me so fucking sad about the guy with the phone because I was just so happy and then immediate fucking frown. It was out of it was completely immediate out of my frown. view. It was blocked by his seat or him or yeah, whatever. It's like if it was a so it didn't it was, I didn't even notice anything. If it was a shitty fucking movie I wouldn't even give it a fuck. I you know? yeah. Or Peter Rabbit. Yeah, if it was Peter well yeah Peter Rabbit I didn't care. But um yeah this uh That stroller's still there. <laughs> he was there earlier when I arrived. Yeah. There is an empty stroller in the parking lot. Is there a child wandering alone? Is there a mother who's been run over or something? <laughs> There's also a really good line at the beginning when Bushami is like talking. Does it involve strollers? No, it involves a grenade. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's talking about how to make Regale soup. us, please. He's talking about, uh, he's doing like these grenade jokes about how he used to throw them at like these refugees. Yes. <laughs> and they're like, grenade, like, uh, what, what do you mean grenade? Like a real fucking grenade. <laughs> I wasn't getting that Tambor wasn't getting that it was a grenade. Like, these are all, like, high-level Soviet guys. Like, you figure he'd know what a grenade he also, is. He also makes a joke about making soup out of some guy. Latvian. A, Latvian soup. You put a, um... A well, what you mouth. do is you put a, a grenade in his mouth. Once it goes off, you got Latvian soup. The way Buscemi talked, it was like Brooklyn versus English well, all over the place. He's it was from very Brooklyn. effective. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying it was very effective because everybody else was English. Oh my god, I, I, I mean, I was like crying in the theater because it was just so funny. Uh, and it's, it, it, it's so sad that like, how are these people not getting it in the theater? Like, they, it's like. Well, we had a good mix. There was a couple young people, oh, yeah. a few old people, young people, girl, old dudes. people, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, middle aged people, you know, senior citizens. But it was really quite befuddling. Nobody. I mean, I get that this humor is like dry for some people. Dark. And you know, dark like Monty as well. Python and kind of stuff like that. Yeah, but it's also we're dealing with genocide. You yeah, know what I but mean? it's like, how can you not get into the flow of just it's they it's, thought it was a dry they can't like it what's what happened to me with the uh, gamer ready one go one. ready player gamer one, one go <laughs> i don't know i just i don't know why you know, i don't want to call it the right name um it this is such a good movie for now honestly like because we're in such like a, a tense thing culturally See, i was thinking of this in it too. it's just please go on I'm we're sorry. just in this fucking tense um, thing culturally about politics yeah. and this movie is just it's not pointing to s certain sides it's just these people are fucking buffoons yes these people who run countries a lot of them are just did assholes it, did, did you think at all scum. of uh, strange was, love strange dr strange love oh for sure i mean i guarantee they were, they were inspired by strange love i'm i i really want to check to see if this director made a movie called in the loop I don't know if you ever saw that. It I think a, you've told me about it. I don't think I've seen it It was another political though. movie, and it was with James Gandolfini. And it wasn't mm. anywhere as near as funny. I don't know if this guy directed it. I haven't looked him up. But I was getting shades of that, because of the walking and talking, almost like a Sorkin, Aaron Sorkin kind yeah. of thing. And it just... Everybody was a buffoon as well. Yeah, oh, I just loved it, because it's so self-aware and it's sad that there's going to be people who walk out of this and are like, no, that wasn't funny. I like don't get it. Everybody everybody in it is going to say, wow, those hipster douchebags were laughing at that yeah, stupid like, shit. Like, they <laughs> think there's highbrow or something. They think they're super smart. Well, that's the thing. is like you don't have to be like a crazy intelligent person to find You just funny. like comedies and know that it's, it's a comedy. Sharp punchlines, visual gags, nah. just everything. Like... I mean, when you look at comedies that are made now and how fucking ugly they are, yeah. and the care that's put into this, 
Not I only mean, the care visually, oh, but the care in oh, right, like <laughs> the uh, yeah. care in the script. I, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there was some improv, some little lines here and there. I've from always Jeffrey been Tambor. reliant on the help kindness of strangers. Oh, won't somebody catch my fall? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. Yeah. My mind went there immediately. <laughs> see, this movie, it, I see two camps forming. On the left, it's going to be, see, socialism is actually works out or it's good. Uh, somehow they twist it. Trust me, yeah. trust me. Well, They're going to yeah, twist it somehow. Right. Yeah. And the right, are, they're not going to see it for what it is. They're just going to, you know, it's... Yeah. Fucking, uh, I don't want to bash people on the right. It's going to be like, they're just going to say, look at how fucking stupid socialism is. Look at how idiotic right. these people are. Yeah, I mean... I highly doubt any of these men were really... That's that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that idiotic, that court jestery. It, but I mean, it, it's well. I mean, listen. The, the great thing about all the people in this movie is that you know, over in the UK right now, yeah. absolute fucking chaos in, in the government. There's like, there's a lot of just crazy shit going on, and so I think a lot of people in this movie from all different countries can relate to just bullshit in politics. Yeah. I mean, regardless of what side you're on, this movie, every point in your it life highlights you a lot. Bullshit. Um, it sort of highlights, it's not about what happened. It's about what the story is. You know yeah. what I mean? What, as long as everybody agrees, this is what happened. Then this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And I, like I mean, that. I mean, listen, there was a lot of horrendous shit done in, uh, in, in Russia, especially under Stalin. I mean, my dad there, yeah. told me a story about him that, uh, Real fucked up story. It was about a chicken. He had this pet chicken. Have you ever heard of this? And I don't think he so. was in front of uh, he was in front of like his board members and stuff like that. And he he was he was talking about you know because there was like there was kind of sort of almost like an uprising, kind of a rebellion, kind of there was talk. Ah, cool. It. Yeah. And um, he took his pet chicken, and in front of everyone on his board, he ripped out all of the feathers of the chicken. And then he threw it to the ground and his pet chicken walked back over to his leg and was like curdling up next to him. And he said, that's Russia. That's my people. They will love me despite whatever I do. Sounds pretty good message. Yeah. Gotta give him that. And so this guy was fucked up and, yeah. he, and he killed more people than fucking Hitler did. Like, a lot what of people is, what are the numbers? Like 20, 30 million, I think, right? At least. No, I think even, I think he would kill Probably 60 even more. Million, that's what Hitler I was thinking earlier. 30 million. Nah. Yeah, this he Stalin. He well, see, this is why I Hitler's always hate when people romanticize goddamn Hitler. Yes, Hit, not World just Hitler, but communism. Like yeah. everywhere communism has been instilled, has been nothing but fucking horror, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, China can put another word for it, but they still have communism. Ven Venezuela right now is like, really, it's like a third world country, man. Yeah. It's like people. You know how people like play. Um, Ran so let's just say MMORPG, where okay. if you mine, if you kill enough boars or you <laughs> mine enough leaves, right. you if you mine like ten thousand of them, you get like a oh dollar fifty. <laughs> there are people. Yeah. That's a that there's a large section of people there doing that to earn Working a living for like one fourteenth of a penny. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Socialism doesn't work, guys. It is it is at the hands of man. Until God himself comes down to declare socialism, I will reject it in all forms. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when certain things are said, you're like, oh, that's pie in the sky. That that'd be kind of nice, but it doesn't work out. Yeah, it just doesn't work out. Nah. But um, yeah, this uh, I mean, I, this is this a movie political is a, talk. Not a, this is a movie talk. It's, it's not. It's not a preachy movie. I, I no. want to get that. No, right no, out no, the no, way. no, no, no. This is just Anyone, my own, our own yeah, interpretation, deep interpretations having, of the film. You know, conversation. But you know, I would definitely tell people, like, you know, it doesn't. You're not going to get offended. Right. It's just no. Yeah. It's just. It's just about these buffoons in politics, and we can all relate to that. Yes. To some extent, there's always Unless been you're an a asshole. politician. <laughs> yeah. Right. Of course. Come on, man. <laughs> I just love how fucking backstabby all these guys are. Well, that's how I would like to... That's If House, is, House of Cards has taught me anything, that's probably exactly I've, what it's like. And I'm willing to bet Soviet episode. Russia was just what yeah. it was like. This reminded me a lot, minus the serious, you know, murdery, torturey <laughs> stuff. This reminded me a lot of 
death at a funeral, the English one. Oh, yeah. I was and good. to a lesser extent, the Martin Lawrence led black one. I mean, Chris Rock. Chris Rock <laughs> and Martin Lawrence led. Oh, was he at that? He was the brother, the really? ne'er do well brother. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I watched it. I saw previews for it. And thought it was I, watched, I watched the English one and then I. I just figured, what yeah, the hell? Hugh Grant's the in next the, uh, the original, right? Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure he is. That was like he was. Uh, that was like his big claim to fame. Guys, the Soviets are invading by train. Yeah, yeah. Hugh Grant's <laughs> claim to fame was death at a funeral. It wasn't think, all his sappy romantic. No, I mean movies. I think that's what got him into notoriety the sappy into romantic into movies. The U.S. So people know him. Who was was the was it an American lead woman? And death at a funeral. I know this is off topic, but I'm just curious. I can't remember. Yeah, it did. never mind. Never mind. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of that with the humor. The humor, yeah. yeah especially with everyone being English. That definitely helped yeah. with that, too. <laughs> a lot darker humor. Oh, yeah. Very, very dark humor. Um, there, There is some really just... Uh, even, even the side characters, like Buscemi's wife... Just total joy, yeah. and she and he's got his pajamas on. And she's trying, to, and she's going over the notes that he had about his <laughs> jokes and what didn't land and what. And she's like, "You were drunk. I, I can't even understand what. What did you even say?" <laughs> Classic. See, that's the thing. I like uh, I like Buscemi. I like Tambor, but the well, real ste- scene stealers. Yeah, of course, correct. Were. Uh, the son of the late Joseph oh, Stalin and the man. daughter. Yeah, he what was, was his great. name? Something with a V. I, uh, v- v- uh See, it's V-I, V-I but I can't think of yeah. what it is. Vitaly? V- Vitaly, Vitaly. Probably, yeah. Man, he was great. Oh, my God. At first, scene. I thought he was going to wear oh. thin real quick. Yeah. But he was good. He was oh solid throughout God, the film. The scene where... <laughs> Stalin, well, obviously, we know Stalin dies. I mean, the name of the doing, movie. Yes, the death of Fuck Stalin. your spoiler alert, guys. Yeah. When they are doing an autopsy and cracking open ah. Stalin's head <laughs> and peeling back the skin, and his son comes in. Storms in. And sh- shooting in the guns. And they're having this fight with one of the officers. And, and it not just really goes a off. fight. It's just he's struggling to grab the gun from the officer, but the officer is just holding him off. It's not like they're fighting. It's just sort of a... A light struggle. This really <laughs> reminded me of goddamn like Curb Your Enthusiasm. Which a lot I of moments love Curb. Here. Curb is so fucking good. At the uh, and, funeral, uh, they were like they were playing like this super triumphant, yeah. happy music. I, was, <laughs> I had to laugh out loud when I heard it. And it it's was just, really good. That, that's another scene that just blows me away that people in the theaters didn't get it. Like this is so fucking hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Nobody else, though. It was it fucking, does, everybody was just chowing down on whatever the yeah, fuck they had just, the entire time. I don't. I just. I think maybe they didn't understand. I mean, I haven't seen any of the trailers, so you could probably speak to this. I Did saw it, one trailer. It definitely looked like a sort of funny, sort of so farcical. It wasn't like trying to be serious. That, no, the it trailers. didn't look. It Man. looked like it'd be authentic period garb, nice yeah. sets and stuff. But I maybe just, like it looked yeah. like maybe a. Cohen's Brothers movie, circa it, Miller's Crossing. It, it definitely had that um, uh, the kind of raising Arizona. Um, you know, burn after reading would be kind of. There was no really. Ex- there were some establishing really shots. Thing. I forgot about them. I was going to say there's no real like great oh. sweeping shots well, there, that blew me oh, away, oh, but there was. Yeah. They showed them. Um, there's one of. The I think it's called St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah, it's, it's not a mosque, Saint... you fool. Yeah, not a mosque, but yeah. Orthodox Church. It's not St. Peter's Basilica, but whatever the big famous mm-hmm. church in St. Peter in Moscow is. Yeah. And there's they like showed this... the Kremlin too. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's a beautiful overhead shot where the character was walking, and it's like from the rooftop. It was like right after that shot of that giant building, the yeah. St. Petersburg, whatever you were talking about. Moscow. Yeah, and um, yeah, just really, really beautiful. Um, they, they, they put, that's one thing I almost forgot about. They really, um, I don't know if it was really Joseph Stalin's house, but it sure looked palatial. Oh, the greenhouse that they were in for the, for yeah. the first, like, half of the movie? It looked really dope. Oh, it's just beautiful. When beautiful. they're walking, where were, they were walking, like, either in the Kremlin or just some other state building, and it's like, there's these fucking giant fucking pillars and oh, giant and statues the, and, and shit. All like the carvings and the gold and everything. Is when just, they were in the room, ooh. the committee room, I thought that was really <laughs> cool. 
it was all white and stuff. It yeah, really a few um committee scenes. Really it was good. really I don't know if they were trying to go for something with it, but it really stuck out that well, I one... think that ties into Strange Love with you with the committee scenes. Yeah. Of the long tables and you know the big circle tables. Sort of a the, but Love. also the shots. Like it was super oh, yeah. wide, but it also you got the guy in the in the foreground and then you got the guy in the background who's way back yeah. here you know well like you were saying about wide shots like they do these really big wide you're gonna want to see this in theaters oh probably. yeah and there's so many actors in those scenes you know uh that they're all doing these little things that you could miss yeah which is great for a rewatch to see all their little faces and, that's another thing i was uh, thinking of too because i'm sure i had to get up and things, go to the bathroom yeah. towards the end which was Plus, a bad place to go <laughs> yeah we'll wait a little bit and he'll tell me what i missed well, well i mean you, you saw the, the end of what <laughs> that's basically it <laughs> yeah the little there was a little bald guy who was old he played um yeah. Baria, Baria. He was like the co-lead for sure. Him and Bouchami. Were yeah, leads. he was. He I'd was, like to see oh, him in a dramatic man. movie. He was. He wasn't well, bad was, in this. There were some points where he was very dramatic. I thought. Well, yeah, but I'd like to Sinister. see him. I'd like to see him in. Yeah, he was definitely the arch. Yeah, arch he, character I in he this. Was great. I he really definitely. Liked he him. wasn't all bad the entire. Well, he was bad the really? whole time, but huh. he had um, he had a lot of comedic moments. You thought Tony he was a little all over the place. No. His character? Well, yeah, because one minute he's fucking shooting somebody in the face and demanding blowjobs, and the next he's <laughs> joking, he's making jokes with a daughter. Him yeah, exactly. The doctor. I don't know. I, I thought he was really just. It really worked. No, for I me. liked him, but yeah. I just. I'm saying I'd like. To, I'd really like to see his talents in a dramatic role. Yeah, I um. I definitely want to look up these actors. After I'm willing to bet he's like a theater actor or something. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Because he's definitely in real command of his craft. Uh, he really had a... He really, as soon as he was on screen, besides the fact he was really heavy, he really, um... You just were drawn to him. I like, mean, he'd open his eyes oh, real yeah. wide and shit. You oh, know there's what I mean? a scene where he's just staring at the camera wide-eyed. And I was laughing. Because he's, when he's, uh, there's a woman... Releasing her. Releasing a woman, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was just laughing hilariously. It's, it's very great. good because it keeps, it keeps you on your toes because you're not sure, is he talking to me right now? Right, yeah. You they don't know if they really the hold on it for a yeah. while before they show you that they're doing something. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I really can't recommend this movie high enough. I mean, it, it's sad, like you say. Uh, I don't know if this is really going to do that well. I would say... Um, um, 40, 50, maybe in America. Worldwide, it'll do great in Europe, I bet. Yeah, I think uh, internationally. And Russia, probably, too. <laughs> if he lets them fucking watch right. it, that is. Yeah, I, uh, I think internationally this movie will do well. Uh, like you say, I, I don't know how well it's going to do in America. I, I don't even think it'll do. Well, from our small litmus test of not many people in the theater, yeah. only you and I were fucking laughing, and one guy later in the film... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if word of mouth is going to be good because, uh, you know, I mean, luckily we don't really care about people kind of dragging us down in the theater. You know, you're just yeah. Gonna if it's laugh. funny, if I'm watching something, it's funny. And if it's it's funny, funny I'm huh? laughing. Yeah. And there, there's other people that you know, you know, they just it's like they're not, they're just not into it. Not you know? getting it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a comedy. <laughs> like Doctor Strange Love, the first time I watched it, I thought it was supposed to be a serious movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know if these people were just saying, oh, you know, let me go see a movie. Oh, The Death of Stalin. Yeah, sure. Let's go yeah, with that what one. a weird pick. Especially, um... Because it doesn't uh, sound like a comedy. Yeah. You know the name. But, uh, you know, I don't Which know. Which is why, another reason why I had high hopes for it. Yeah, this, um, this really fucking surpassed my expectations, and, uh... I'm, I'm so fucking glad I went to see this. Because I, I was not going to see this movie. I didn't even know about it till. How did you figure long. out about it? You uh, heard I was, it on a podcast. I was listening to Mark Maron. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he, um, it, it was uh, it was like a paid promo for him. Nah. That he was reading. And I was like, oh, The Death of Stalin. And I didn't really pay it that much mind. And then did I was. Did you think it was a serious movie? No, he was saying that it was a comedy. <coughs> he was saying that it got good reviews. And I was like, oh, huh. But I didn't think it was going to come anywhere near us. And uh, luckily it did. And. I, I looked in, in the movie pass and I saw that it was playing at this theater that we don't really want to go to. <laughs> we try to avoid this theater. Well, it's good for me, actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's good for you. I mean, I 
I just I think the the, the seats suck. Before. If we get stuck in that small theater, yeah, we were in a very indie small house, you know, theater. This of. and I, Tanya, like these are the two best movies we've seen, and they're in this packed away well, in the basement in the small theater. I, I think Game Night was better. Than I oh yeah, Game Night was okay. I like Game. But this Night. is easily the best movie we've seen. One hundred. Yeah, I'd have, I might have to agree with you. Like this, like man. <sighs> The fucking this is great. It's the great, it's man. the silliest movie about uh, Russian <laughs> oppression you'll ever see. Yeah, uh, Soviet any, oppression. Do you uh, do you, you want to do spoilers? Or anything else you want to talk about? Or was there something we were talking about a minute ago? We, uh, we were explore? talking about the uh, the maybe the death of one character. Which one? Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, guys, spoiler time is initiated. So, um, yeah, when you left the theater, the the, the main uh, Varia. British guy who uh, has all the documents and stuff on everybody. Oh, as soon as Stalin fell ill, this guy broke into <laughs> his uh, broke into his deathbed. That's such a good scene. Burned oh. a bunch of documents. He had first, I forgot about this, he had to go into, he had to open a safe to get keys, to open another safe, to get keys, to open to another closet. safe, yeah. to open the closet. <laughs> Yeah, you were dying at that. That was funny. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was very... Uh, Great visual gag. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, the scene when you walked out on is when they were kind of doing the coup yeah. over this guy and, and the main general is coming in. I got a lot of hints him. of uh, that Tom Cruise Hitler movie. Uh, Valkyrie? Valkyrie. Yeah, which wasn't bad. Yeah, it but it's okay. not nearly as good as this. Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, they're very different movies, but... Uh, what happens with Baria? Like, let me know how that bald fuck makes his hand. <laughs> well, he's in the, the boardroom, and they're all... Uh, Buscemi starting the motion to say, oh, you know, you've done this, you've done that, and he and he's all freaking out and everything like that, and then they start grabbing him. Oh, and the old right guy? The Damn, yeah. I'm pissed. I wish I saw that. Yeah, he walked out right at the main climax scene that leads to the conclusion. Well, I figured he was levying charges against him. They yeah. cut to him in jail or something. No, and then when you come in, they're like beating the shit out of him, ready to execute him. <laughs> he said something funny as he was getting beaten, I think. I can't remember what it was, though. Yeah, the There's thing, a lot of really... You raped a seven-year-old, and he's yeah. like, you've all done bad things. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> You're gonna. If he mentions another seven-year-old for yes. Chevy, <laughs> and he's like, "You've still done bad things." <laughs> the thing about this movie is, there's gonna be, there's a lot of, gonna be a lot of jokes where, like, you're gonna laugh and you're gonna be like, "Oh wow, oh, am yeah. I a bad person Listen, now?" I love <laughs> super fucked up humor, and this so had plenty. This, this has got it in spades, man. And, See the uh, thing? I thought it'd be like a, a British sort of witty thing, but mm -hmm. it was British and witty. And super dark. Yeah. Which it, it I had, really enjoyed. It had that trifecta. You know? Only if Game Night was dark as, <laughs> as dark as well. This is not as dark. Uh, this movie is way darker than Game Night. Yes. Um, yeah, so that, I mean, that's really kind of the only. Really yeah, that's really spoiler. the only spoiler. I mean, I. If knew, you know like, your history. <laughs> I didn't know really anything about it, but I knew Nikita no. Khrushchev. I knew that name, and I knew if yeah. I knew that name, he probably would have been a leader yeah. of Russia. Soviet yeah. Union, pardon me. I mean, me. listen, I'll say, listen, I went in blind. I loved it. I'm not into political movies, and this, this is just fucking worse. Sometimes they can be super boring, super dry. Oh, yeah, this, I mean, I was worried a bit, because, you know, I mean, this is getting good reviews, like, from what I heard. If there was uh, one detraction, I would say maybe, I don't know, maybe it went on a while, I don't know. Yeah, I mean... It's tough for me to say that because I can't let it influence my score because of the bad thing that there happened was, in the theater. Yeah. That that affected my mood because I was so in. Yeah. I was so locked in. And that pulled me right fucking out. <sighs> but uh you know that that shouldn't dissuade people. I would definitely yeah. I would definitely recommend this to to go see. Like support this movie. It's it's fucking smart. It's not some bullshit like that like what's fucking coming out? The stupid John Cena movie where he gets cock. some beer. block no blockers, yeah, but with a beer picture shoved of up a in cock. His asshole. Like this is actually funny and has real jokes in it. Oh you know? yeah, <laughs> another thing I forgot forgot about. Uh, Ready Gamer One. Oh god. <laughs> Why is it PG thirteen? There's a goddamn elevator of blood that propels a character down the hallway into a room. So what do you want? An R? No, I'm just saying it's bullshit that Spielberg gets away with it. 
but please, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, there's nudity in uh, The Shining, and we all know nudity takes precedence over violence. <laughs> yeah, you got a good point there if for American tastes, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, what the guy giving the guy in the bunny suit giving a blowjob to the other dude, right? I had somebody who read the book explain that to me. I realize the book and the movie have nothing to do with each other, but yeah. I still can't make heads or tails about I've, the most confusing right. scene of I've my not, childhood. I know we're getting off topic. You can cut this out, but um, did you ever see uh, the um, no cuts? Oh God, great! Uh, <laughs> do your job, you fuck. <laughs> um, no the, cuts. Uh, did you uh, did you see the uh, miniseries that's supposed to be like completely faithful of The Shining? Uh, when I was a when I was a boy, an yeah. exuberant. I'm curious. I'm curious to see the completely faithful. One cheap. That he... It looks I'm incredibly sure it cheap. Yeah. Um, I've never read the book, and I'm never gonna read it. The guy from Wings plays Jack. Oh, it's it's really the no. it's logically Thanks. the largest leap down a set of stairs you can take. Yeah. But I mean, that's just me as a boy. I don't. No. I don't. Danny's annoying too. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Um, so yeah, back to Death of Stalin. Uh, <laughs> is there anything else you want to talk about, or you want to get final ratings? Maybe it was a little long. Yeah. Uh, but I can't think of anything that would cut, yeah. or that you would have to cut. Because it, you know? it's so tied into everything that's happening. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the funeral scene was also good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I'm really I, I'm not gonna let what happened bump my score down. Yeah, I'm gonna go with an eight on this one. Okay. I, I really fucking liked it, man. Like this, I mean, I I, I want to see this movie again. Uh, I probably won't go here to see it in the theater again because it's a shitty theater. I, it'd be nice at home. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I tell people you know don't be afraid, seek it out if it's near you. You know, go in with an open mind and you really have a lot of fun. I, um, great cast. Great dialogue. Great dialogue. Great intrigue. The story was great. Very, um, I really liked how, how dark it went. Like, it wasn't afraid. Oh, yeah. It had really had teeth. It wasn't, af- it was uh, a, not only in the comedy, it was an R. but it was with, very much an R. <laughs> with what was happening around yeah. them. Very smart movie. Um, I'm going to go with a seven. Yeah. I um I'd like to give it an eight, but I'd have to see it again. I'd really have to yeah. see all the little things I missed. It'll definitely be yeah. I doubt it'll do well. If it yeah. does, great. Well great for who? I don't give a fuck about them. Well, but anyways. Well for the director I'd like to see him do more, you know. Yeah. Because this was really funny. But if it doesn't, definitely get it from a red box. <laughs> yeah. It's worth a shot. Also, I don't condone promoting Redbox <laughs> until they give me free movies. You just break one open tonight. <laughs> okay. That's exactly how I uh, I get my honey. Out of beehives. They slumber at night, you see. Mm. I, um... I, Why don't you hang yourself on this one? <laughs> I, have an avid, I have an avid interest in apiarism. And communism, for that matter. Yeah. If you are um, a Bernie Sanders fan, <laughs> if you believe that communism or socialism is a good idea, in theory, yeah, sure, it could work out. Yeah, everyone making the same but amount of money and all having health care. It be doesn't great. work out. It no, doesn't, though. Okay. History has proven that. Yeah, sadly. 